した人類は、さっき言うと、げることができました。Oh, okay, never mind. What the heck was that? <laughs> Subscribe, please. All right, so I've seen this float around recently. I, I like how there's like 10 videos. But there's only three here. Maybe it's the short. It has to be the short, right? So this kind of came out of nowhere. Um, it's a game announced. It's been announced recently. I don't know if it's is it out in any servers or is it gonna be releasing globally everywhere at the same time. That would be kind of cool. So here, if you want to learn a little bit more about the lore, etc., you have the official website. Um, I mean, looking at the characters here, they look pretty good. Man, look at the design here. Oh, it's a card game. So it looks like a turn-based card game, I would imagine. The character design is pretty good. Yeah, definitely. This guy's China, China community absolutely upset about this. The OST sounds good so far. Okay, let's actually check out the trailers. Um, D minus three until regular report. I could I could milk it and try to do like three different videos about all of this, but I just can't be arsed. So let's just have a look at the official trailer that came out. That was six months ago. Okay, so this has been floating around for a long time. It's just like people didn't really know about it that much. I guess it didn't make that much waves. Let's have a look at the official trailer that came out like six months ago. Let's see. Smilegate? I know that name. It has to be a publisher, right? Epic 7? Ooh, okay. So is it like a, a space opera? I love the setting. Thirty-six hours? Yo, that looks cool. <gasps> so cute! Oh, okay, never mind. What the heck was that? Adam Yori, Genzai ni Tarmade, Jindu in Yuketsugaretic Tashkuku, Bokaku. What I touch in a session or course, stayed in a Tadano Bushtinis. Oh, look at the characters, damn. Egon of Hokaiva, Mohaya Kaus, Spider Lees. I like Spider Lees. Kamikara Bokak to Yuna no Shkuku, get a Jindu Koso, Keste Kizukas, Sinat. フクサヨウに最なまれることなくこの宇宙で唯一任務を完遂できる存在なのです繰り返します作戦は失敗ですなんか繰り返しても得意点はなくならないだったらこんな光景なんてないのにまあ、the okay. good dude is it a time travel kind of thing? Because they talk about like going back, etc., etc., but I'm not too sure. Okay, that looks really cool. So there's a few things I do want to point out. Um, the setting looks amazing. I love it. I think it looks great. This part? Jesus! <sighs> That's, uh... Everything's fine. Never mind. <laughs> Jeez. Instant trauma. And here you can see a lot of the character design here. This girl looks awesome, like with the, the black rose or whatever it is. I love her look. I don't I care a bit less about the other two, but like, okay, let me see here. 
Like, oh, that's a huge shield. Those three girls look amazing. They're like all half demons, kind of, right? Those horns are so badass, dude. Oh, I just saw her hand was like all messed up. Oh, look at those. They're so cool. Furries. Oh, oh adorable. I love some of these designs so, so much. Holy crap. Um, and so funnily enough, this really, this gives me massive, like, Darkest Dungeon vibes. Like, but, like, they have the ability to forget. I feel like they're having, you know, like, the panic attack when your stress level goes way too high in Darkest Dungeon. So I wonder if there's going to be some mechanic like that. Like, how does the gameplay exactly work? Is it, like, a kind of, like, stress out? Or is this actually, like, a buff for themselves? Like, they... They kind of lose their mind and they become empty, so they don't have the ability to... They can forget things, and so they can fight until they die, essentially, without, like, any kind of limiter. What is going on here? Because, like... See... The mind is made entirely of ordinary matter. The shattering of our consciousness will no longer prevent us from delving into the chaos. Blessed with the ability to forget. Without the fear of pain, injury, or death. So, they, they found a way to bypass everything so we can still keep fighting, essentially. That's kind of crazy. Okay, I want to see some gameplay here. I definitely want to see some gameplay because this looks very good. At least in terms of like artistic direction, mwah, top tier, right? Um, world building, very interested in the setting. It looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to need some more, right? But like my first thought, this looks great. I definitely want to see some more. All right, let's see how the game actually plays. Okay, anime cutscenes. We love those. That's the thing they showed earlier, like the, the weird matter that destroyed the world in 36 hours. Oh, it's chibi style, baby! Okay, so it seems like you have a team of six characters, maybe? Oh, they look pretty good. Oh, look at this, look at this one. She's so EP. You can tell. She's crazy and EP. Is that a fish in an aquarium as a head? Is that just a fish with a body? I think it is, chat. <laughs> Best character. We have no subtitles, unfortunately. It is what it is. So, yeah, it is a card game. It doesn't say we get to the character in... Uh... So... Interestingly enough, like, top left. I'm going to talk about all that afterward. I'm going to let it play for now. That's a... Oh, man, those animations for the ultimates are awesome, dude. There seem to be some choices there. It seems to play almost like a roguelite. Right? I think so. It looks like it, at least. This looks awesome. The animation is so top tier. It's like fully... Like... Anime cutscenes, I love it. Okay. Anime again. That was a bad ending right there. Yeah, there there is a, a sanity thing going on there. A hundred percent. Oh what the hell is that? Okay, so there's a few things I want to talk about here. The Ultimate Versus Epic 7. Didn't they announce Epic 7? Is Epic 7 closing? So here it's interesting because you see the character. Like, the character is actually behind her here. But, like, as you pick the ability, you see her, like, from the back in front of you. As if she's, like, you're, you're facing the enemy face to face. 
Uh, so what I think very is is very interesting here is like top left. There seems to be one health bar. That seems to be for everyone. Or is that the boss health? No, because the boss health bar is over there, right? So what is this green bar here? And then you see at the bottom, there's like a purple bar and a yellow bar. So I assume that when the purple bar is maxed out, that's when something breaks. I think that's like the stress or something. Or maybe one of them could be the ulti. I think something is definitely going on. Maybe the little square here is like the amount of mana that the character has. See, like she's right there here. Okay, so that was like the first thing I noticed. Here you can see like the bar is well way lower. Um, in the hand here, you can see that some ability seems to be marked for specific characters. So it feels like depending on the team you have, when you draw your hand, some abilities are for certain characters. Some abilities are going to be for the other. Very much similar to Reverse 1999, but it doesn't seem to be a like fusion system that we can find in some of those games, right? Um, now, the other thing I want to look at is specifically when they lose their mind. See, explore the unknown. Choose your fate. See, here, we seem to have a lot of... Uh, see, this is, like, choice-based. Like, this one you can't be able to do. This one, you, you maybe have a chance to get a, a desired result. So this is a Korean game. It seems. And then here, you, I think you can choose, like, which upgrade you potentially want to get here. So this is why it gives me some big, 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 like, uh, roguelite vibes. And when they kind of lose their mind over yonder. So let's go a bit further in. The game is brutal. Like, look here. Like, that does not look good. She's like, okay, I'm freaked. And see here, plus one. See, this is why, like, this here is purple and her bar is fully purple. Right? So I think the purple bar is actually the stress bar. And that's when she loses her mind. So I think there's actually a system of like mind break. Okay, not the sexual kind, but like just the... Um, I, I don't remember what it's called in, in uh, Darkest Dungeon, but essentially a system like that. When your stress is too high, you lose your mind. It's going to have an effect. Uh, in Darkest Dungeon, generally speaking, it makes you act like crazy. And it can also like increase the stress of your other party member or you can like lose your mind start attacking them etc etc there seems to be something here and yeah see like the purple bar has filled up like everybody here is stressed out yeah it's definitely the purple bar so the purple bar it's definitely the thing that uh dictates whether or not they lose their mind it's a sanity system thank you and oh did you see that right there for a little second See, here, they don't have a health bar here. Instead of a health bar, they literally just have a broken purple gouge that they didn't have before, and it all says zero. So I don't know what's going on here. Oh, maybe... Oh, that must be the entire health system. Once you drop to zero, you automatically lose. And because this is like the... the this is the game over cinematic, essentially. Yep. Yep. It's brutal, dude. Like, they have brutal cinematic for the death of the characters. Oh, God! <laughs> I think she's fine. Like, like, here, he has a little bit of a grab. She's fine. She's fine. There's no bunny. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Look at that! Like, look at this! Oh, the skin is like... It starts coming out of the body, they're transforming to plants. Oh, oh, see these flowers and the arm is being ripped apart! Holy crap! That's insane! And this one here, oh my god, grab. Shink, 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 shink. Oh my god. Yeah, this, that's nasty. <laughs> that's nasty. Uh, moral of the story. Uh, moral of the story. Uh, I think is gonna be this one here. 
Uh, so yeah, that's the that's the game in a nutshell. Um, this looks fantastic. This looks amazing. They're going all out, and this is what makes me think: Is this a kind of time loop thing, right? Is it a go back and try again? Because you can see that those characters are dying in droves, right? So it feels like maybe they're trying to go back in time and fix it. Uh, and that's why they can die so many times, right? Or, I don't know. I mean, there's got to be a in-game explanation for the fact that they can die like this, right? This is brutal. Brutal. Yeah, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Do we have any announcement regarding like when it's coming out or anything? I don't think we do. This is like the first time we actually see that. And see here, once again, welcome back to the SS Nightmare. Jesus. And see, this is it. Welcome back. This gives me like, you know, time loop. As in, you know, we meet again. Uh, in future translation for each language will be available in the actual service. Okay, awesome. And uh, it was announced that the launch was scheduled for the second half of 2024 in April. Okay. Let, let's check the news real quick. Log into X. Ugh, the end thing. Let me open X real quick. So here they're showing a lot of characters. All right, let, let's just check uh, Twitter. Official website now available, blah, 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 blah. A lot of, well, man, this looks good. I love this girl here. She looks so good. She was a girl with like, yeah, the black rose there. Some of the design are amazing, dude. Uh, regular report, confidential stuff, key information. Oh, so those are the main characters. Owen, Mika, and Ray needs further observation. Selected humanity has left the Earth and ventured into space. Hashtag bureaucracy. Humanity's Arc Federation at home and home of the SS Nightmare developed around several enormous densely populated arcs and possess technology more advanced than the humanity possessed back on Earth. Okay. Renoa. Oh, so that's her name? Okay, I'm already in love with Renoa. She looks amazing. Uh, yeah, this looks good. There's some events for some Disco Nitro. They're doing some stuff here. So I'm looking forward to this game for sure. Oh, look at this little cutie pie. Those big bad wolves are trying to get me. Oh, I'm sure she'll be fine. Just a few chores, right? So there's a lot of shorts that they already posted. Uh, July calendar. Let's see if we can... I don't think they've officially announced a date, a specific date yet. Let's see if we can find something here. Yeah, just second half of 2024. But we haven't had any more news lately. Uh, but that would be crazy if we actually get something like next month. Um, that would be absolutely awesome. Yeah, this looks great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I, I think this is uh, this is pretty rare to get a, a gacha game like this being like this brutal. And, uh, and um, I want to say explicit. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this one. I'll keep you updated if there's any new news coming out in the near future. And uh, I'll play it whenever it's out. All right, see you next time. Cheers! Ah!